All right, so talking about marijuana, if you look on the top left image, that is just the plant itself, what it looks like. It may not look like it's anything that you can actually smoke because that's not the stuff you would smoke. The stuff that you would actually smoke is on the bottom right-hand corner. That's the flower, the bud that comes out of it that's it's sometimes called and you can break it up and you can roll it up into a a smokable cigarette like that um, or you can put it inside of a pipe and smoke it like on the top right one thing that's been happening lately is um, they've been taking the oil like melting it down somehow extracting the oil from it and then you can put that into a a cartridge and that's what's on the bottom left hand corner and that's kind of changed um, how things work because it's a lot more discreet marijuana has this really strong distinct smell to it that um you may have noticed before if you're just like outside in a sort of public area you may have smelled it before but those um they're called like thc um canisters i believe and they don't have like a smell to it they don't need to so people can be a lot more discreet with it um other ways that people ingest it are by you take that oil and you put it inside of food so we're kind of back to that same thing where if you look on the top left all of those things look like they could be candy that a little kid might want to get their hands on right um of course if they do they probably wind up in the hospital on the bottom that's a um those are marijuana brownies that have been made. Now, keeping it legal, I guess you could argue that you actually know how much is inside of the edible. Whereas there have been people that accidentally ate brownies just because they were left out and they had no idea how much was inside of it. And the person that made it didn't know how much inside of it. They just dumped a whole bunch of weed inside of it. And now all of a sudden that person can wind up inside of the hospital because they are on a, on a trip that they were not expecting to be on because, um, of how potent the marijuana is. So you just have to be really careful when you eat it, if uh, if you ever do, hopefully you don't. Um, if you if you do, just like you have to be really careful um, about what you're taking, just know about that. So I'd like you to write this down. These are the gateway drugs. These gateway drugs are substances that when consumed, they give way to harder, more dangerous drugs. So tobacco, alcohol, and marijuana. Now, of course, all three of these drugs, each of them individually, can do serious damage to your life. I don't want to downplay them. However, tobacco is legal. Alcohol is legal. Marijuana is in this like gray zone right now where it's legal in some places and illegal in other ones. Um, but all three of them, once you start to take these, it becomes normal then all of a sudden for you to be using these. And now it just doesn't seem that crazy. Right now at your age, hopefully, it just seems a little bit crazy to try any of them, right? But, and that would be like a horrible thing if you did. But if you take these three, now all of a sudden this becomes the new normal. And now harder drugs seem like they're the next log- logical step up. So that's why they're considered to be gateway drugs because they just kind of open the door up to these um, harder drugs that you could eventually take. Very few people out there begin their um, drug adventure starting out taking heroin, right? One of the most hardcore drugs that are out there. They generally start with all three of these before they would ever work their way up to that. So that's why it's considered to be a gateway drug. So one of the other drugs that are very dangerous that's out there is cocaine. Um, It's from the, um, it's a white powder that's extracted from the leaves in South America, the coca shrub. It's not related to coca plants. Um, It can often be snorted, like in that white powdery form. It could be smoked as well. Uh, It could even be injected. It increases your heart rate, blood pressure, can lead to headaches, um, some Stomach pains, paranoia can lead to a heart attack or stroke. It's very expensive, very addicting as well. Um, Some people have turned it into what's called crack cocaine, which is a cheaper but more addictive and more dangerous version of the same drug that people take. Um, There's crystal meth. Crystal meth is a form of methamphetamine. It's a stimulant, can be smoked, snorted, injected. High doses can do serious damage to your body. Um, Violent behavior, homicidal, uh, potentially killing people, suicidal thoughts, um, severe anxiety and paranoia. If you look at a picture of somebody and you can look, see on the bottom left, um, the tooth decay that can happen, it looks like you can age people 20 years within a year of using this. Really dangerous stuff. Moving along, there are a type of drug called hallucinogens. So different examples of these would be like LSD, um, that's also called acid. There is mescaline, which is sometimes uh, in a type of like cactus type plant, I believe, that you can extract. There's um, these things called magic mushrooms, and the psychoactive ingredient inside of it is called psilocybin. There's um, PCP. There's M-